Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the one up block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. Now, I know it's been quite a while, and I apologize. I apologize. Alright, I don't even know the lyrics of that, but I'm back. I'm sorry. The, uh, the, the, the holidays came up, and... As you know, it's very difficult for me to record during the holidays because there's people in and out of my room constantly, and I mean, you know, whatever. We're just, we're going to continue on with where we left off, which is episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, I think there's only three chapters right now. Yeah, there's only three, so after this one, we'll have one more, and then we'll have to wait for chapter four to come out, or episode four, whatever. But from now, from now, for now, we're going to be continuing on, so let's do this probably turn this down just a little bit. I think the bass is too high, maybe. Mr. Toad? Um. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man! This fucking lapdog comes sniffing around this place telling the rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. All right, so that was the recap. They do that at the beginning of every episode, as far as uh, as far as Telltale games go. But yeah, when we last left off, some shit went down, dude. Um. Oh yeah, we're just we're looking at the dead head. The dead head. We're looking at White's head or whatever. Hold on, give me a second. I gotta make sure I can hear myself talk over all this loud Let's ass. What? Mm-hmm. You're tripping. You're tripping, Mr. Wolf. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. Uh huh. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. <laughs> I don't need sleep. How are you feeling? Like shit. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some uh, rest. Uh, I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need <laughs> to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Oh, my stomach's look, making weird noises. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. Hope you can't hear that. But I could use your cooperation. I'm just gonna smoke. Just smoke it out, Big B. Just That's smoke it very out. Very helpful. Thank you. It's better than being a dick, but I guess I guess technically it's still being a dick, really. Oh, are, th are these real police? Oh shit. Hmm. What? Yeah. Sorry if I get quiet. Detective Brannigan? 
I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is what the hell? Something. Do you hear that? <gasps> what the hell is going on? Please. Please. <gasps> what in the world? I'm sorry. What? Just make it stop. Please. What the? Good lord, what just happened? What, what the f- uh. We have to go, now. Uh. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Hmm. Well, hurry up. All right then. Like I guess that works. Well, I suppose if if you're gonna get the job done, that's a good way of doing it. So I assume anything I told her doesn't mean Jack Doodly squat, which is awesome. I suppose. Not that we really accomplished anything there. But you know, thinking on the bright side of things. This is awkward. Look how tall he is compared to me. Uh. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. Oh, are we gonna be friends now? We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Mm. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to remember everything that happened last time, and it's kind of fallen back into place. Plus, I gotta get back into the groove of actually recording the Let's Play, so... It's been like a week or two. I'm sorry. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. Mm hmm? It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her, too. Mm hmm? I hope he turns out to be a good guy. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. I'm gonna be nice to him. He was a dick to us, but he seems to be, uh... Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Yeah, you ain't lying, dude. It's been getting all cray cray up in here. Did oh. she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't uh, know why, but I'd like to know that she was. I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. Hmm. I love. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. I love how the facial expressions change really rapidly because of the engine that this game runs on, or whatever. Our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Mm. I'll get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. Ooh. <laughs> I like how I didn't get pissed off at that. Right to the. Uh, Right to an attorney. Okay. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Hmm. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. 
Sheriff? Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I that's a... Uh, you want to be involved, you will do things my way. Oh, that's no the main... Violence. That's the main character from... Whatever the Walking say, Dead. Goodbye. Lee. That's his voice actor. Sorry, I'm talking over Lee. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Hmm. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Hmm. No, I'd settled on... How's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. <laughs> I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds mm. like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Uh... Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Mm -hmm. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. I'm not fucking around here, D. Alright, <laughs> D. Let's get to know each other. Am I gonna hit him anyway? Who's trying to be it? Uh I don't wanna be a dick. But, I mean, D's kind of a dick. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. Huh. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Oh, uh, well, he's obviously fucking lying. Oh, Lord. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Hmm. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. <laughs> Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Money, a cigar, and something. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. <laughs> It couldn't hurt, I guess. Just trying to be, just trying to be friendly, man. I don't know if this is actually helping my case, or not, but you know, maybe he'll be a good guy. And... Baby, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls, to Snow White? Of course I do, you dingus. This. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. Oh. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. Mm -hmm. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Oh, we're getting down to it. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Mm. Come on, bro. Alright, I'm gonna give him a cigar. Myron? The hell does that mean? I'm saving that. Here. Yeah, alright. Just trying to just trying to be a good guy. I if he's Oh, he's being a dick now. This is ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. What's next, baby? You're gonna give him a massage? Offer him a nice steak dinner? Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. This is working. Like hell it is. You think you're getting results? Mm -hmm. That's enough from you, Bluebeard. 
Come on, Dean. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? <laughs> so let's talk about your boss then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. I don't know what I'm gonna do with his money. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way what? beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. Oh, Lord. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard? And not getting any answers from him this way. Bullshit! No white is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Dude. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Oh, God. Ooh. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself. Immensely. Oh, are we about to fight? Up. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, punch him in the, punch him in the chest. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm so not used to this. Sorry. Eh, 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 eh. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Snow? Snow. Oh, she came back to life. What's going on down here? Um. I'm, uh, hmm. Snow. I'm lost. I don't, I don't get it. I think I heard from someone that like the comic series this is based off of has like people could come back to life if the fable is strong enough or whatever. All right, so here's the opening. This is gonna be kind of loud, so I'm gonna have to edit it a little bit. But uh, all right, finally I can talk. I apologize for not being able to talk while the game is in progress because obviously there's a lot of talking going on, and sometimes I'm gonna have my opinion to put out there, but. The Wolf Among Us is mostly story driven, so they're gonna they're gonna be talking no matter what. So if I need to shut up, I'm gonna shut up so you can hear what's going on, because that's what this is about, the story. I get to play my part and I get to do what I need to do. Um like I wasn't an asshole right there where I I didn't beat up D. But we got information out of him, so that was good. But I didn't have to beat the shit out of him. But I'm sure other people have beat the shit out of him. Because they want to, because, you know, people like to be assholes in these type of games. They like to do what they normally can't do in real life, which is typically be more of an asshole and not have manners. Plus, I mean, he's the big bad wolf. I could see the appeal of wanting to see Bigby being a dick, there? but okay, story. Uh, a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but... Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Okay, good. We were the good. See, this is why being a good guy is good. S yeah. Snow appreciates it. What? Is, what the, why is she alive? Yeah. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. <laughs> After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her mm. back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Um. Thanks. Uh. uh she's alive. But can we can we get to that, please? I'm kind of confused. No. What is it? Are Are you gonna be okay? I mean. With all that's happened. I'll be fine. What? Are we not gonna get to I just wanna get to the bottom of this. Um I just feel like What is it? I just Are we just blowing over this that she was dead and now she's not? I feel 
responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. Mm. And they'll come looking for me. That's right. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Hmm. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Uh... We just keep doing what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? Hmm. I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Ouch. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Okay, so she wasn't dead. Been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. Mm. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. <laughs> right. You know, you gotta laugh at yourself before you can laugh at anybody else, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, okay, we got another achievement, but... Alright, that's where we're going to call it quits for this episode, because it's 20 minutes in and it's going to be already hell to render. So, um, a hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle The Wolf Among Us. Later days, guys. And thanks for having me, by the way. I don't ever say this, but thanks, thanks for choosing me. I love you guys. Later days, men. And women. That was stupid. Later days. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>